in Argentina, they're they're breathing a sigh of relief because they only have eight percent inflation for the month. So they, for the year, they were like at two hundred, almost three hundred percent. Well, speaking of emerging markets. <laughs> You were talking about that uh, there's some pretty strong inflation going on over in Turkey. And I know Argentina has also been kind of struggling with this recently. What's going on over there? Uh, dude, this is where uh, we uh, Bitcoiners, we we feel that uh, it's a great um, instrument for markets like this. Uh, when their inflation is like 75%, it hit. Literally, Turkey's um, uh, inflation seventy five percent, yeah, and then Ar- Argentina is is the similar, right? It's just their 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 Argentinian pesos is just like gone ninety nine percent, right, of their of their value. So yeah, it's ridiculous. Um, I, I think that that's that's uh, if you remember, like here in the US, we used to have like um, the pe- the pegging with the um, with the gold standard, mm-hmm. and then in, they moved because they wanted to start printing money. Um, I forgot the year. Uh, in the 60s, 70, uh, 1971, uh, something like that. So, uh, I think that maybe a, a, a way is for these emerging markets is to start uh, putting in their books that they have X amount of Bitcoin. And we're seeing that happening with El Salvador. Mm-hmm. And dude, the guy played nicely, Bukele, right? So, shout out to that guy pushing through his, ta- through his people, right? And trying to clean out his country and now being there. Uh, I'm I'm disappointed that Mexico hasn't done something like that, right? Like, man, it's like they they should be able to do it, right? And um, uh, there's hope. Yes, I, I saw Shinebaum talking with Fink, <laughs> right? Larry Fink. <laughs> I did talking. I did see that. So we <laughs> <laughs> so it's like two days after she wins, right? And and, and Larry Fink, Black Rock Larry again. Said, Let me take you out to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, she's Jewish. So I think that that also um, kind of helped uh, in that part of the club. That, one of us. Part of the club. One of us. <laughs> <laughs> so so I think that that's what is happening with emerging markets, where um, if they put some uh, Bitcoin in their books, it will allow them to to be able to even to borrow uh, against because it's like, hey, I have something here too that actually backing me up, uh, which is my stash in Bitcoin, right? Yeah. So, what was your take there? Yeah, I mean, I think whenever we start hearing these stories about inflation, you know, we, Bitcoiners are always just like saying, you know, Bitcoin fixes this. So uh, in a way, we're, there's a little frustration in that, like, hey, for these countries that are losing. And so for those of you that, that may it may not be super clear, what does 75 percent inflation mean? What does 100 percent inflation mean to them? That means like the the groceries that you spent a hundred dollars for this year, the same groceries are going to cost you $200 next year, you know? Um, and it keeps doing that every single year. And since it's percentage is like doubling or your money value is having. So, uh, imagine the folks that are living through this every day, you know, it's, it's super tough and your money, the, the thing that you work for every single day just keeps being devalued and devalued just because of the choices or the economics of the country and things like that, you know? So that's why these inflation rates are super hard. I know a lot of people in the U S have felt this, right? We were complaining about what 8% inflation or whatever, 10% inflation in some areas, right? Um, our groceries, you felt that hit. Well, these people are talking about a hundred percent inflation. So, uh, 10 times worse. Uh, so that's why we're, we're talking about that. And, Bitcoin does solve this, right? If you're able to opt out into a different currency, um, something like Bitcoin that holds it va- its value or even goes up because um, you can't print more of it, uh, that's that's a really good solution. And like in Argentina, they're they're breathing a sigh of relief because they only have eight percent inflation for the month. So they, for the year, they were like at 200, almost 300%. So that means like a third of the value of from January to December. At, the, at December, your $1 is now worth only 33 cents, right? Like that's a huge, that's a huge difference. Um, and that's the thing that they're contending with over there. So I think it would be smart of that government to really take a hard look at at Bitcoin as a way to do that because Bukele did it with El Salvador and uh, they've, they're profitable in, in their Bitcoin and they're looking to see how they can even mine and do things like that. 
Um, so I don't know. There, there's hope. There's hope there for those folks. Yeah, and I, I was when I was uh, trying to prepare for these um, the pod, I was looking why they call them emerging markets, and it's it's a it's a way to say basically that they are developing, I guess. Uh, and I think that um, a lot of the Latin American countries uh, might might fit that. So uh, I I think that maybe that's the other next um, uh, chunk of uh, inflow of money that we're gonna see probably to Bitcoin, right? Because uh, now is you start going into the ETFs and the institutions and getting some uh, rules, right? From from uh, countries like uh, US. Uh, then we might start seeing more countries, emerging markets, uh, start moving some money to that. And I think that also we're going to start seeing some uh, uh, companies that they are maybe not your your Facebook or not your Microsoft, but actually smaller companies that they have money in the bank and they don't know what to do with it, right? Because they cannot spend it because they still need some liquidity, but also they don't want to they don't want to buy another stocks. But they might actually say, you know what? As much as well, just put it in a, in another currency instead of having in fiat. So I can see another inflow, 10, 20 percent of that on their treasuries uh, to start getting in. So I think that that's what is going to propel to to keep increasing the price of Bitcoin. Yeah, for sure. There's a lot of opportunity there, and it's gonna. I think it'll help with a lot of um, countries, businesses, uh, finances uh, as a as a good store of value. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And again, if you haven't watched our viral Bitcoin all-time high video, it's almost at 11,000 views. Go check it out. We've got a couple of others. Uh, we just released a brand new one uh, that has our Michael, our our big friend, Michael Saylor, doing the big little Yachty um, uh, walkout on stage. So you guys can <laughs> see that. Uh, but that's all we've got for today. Vale. Bye.